Hello and welcome to part three in a three-part series on how to set up Moodle for Mac OS X. To quickly review, I want to make sure we've clicked on the MAMP icon in our dock and we've started running our servers and then we want to make sure we click on the link to Moodle icon in the right dock and that will bring us here. Go ahead and log in and we are ready to go. So today I'd like to talk about courses and course categories and adding them to your Moodle structure. So when we click on courses in the site administration bar on the left, we click on add edit courses. Now, the standard Moodle comes with some courses in this course category labeled miscellaneous. And if we click on that, we can see the courses that have been added. We're going to leave this alone for now and go back to add edit courses. So here I'd like to add a new category, and I'm going to name that category Mr. Hotler. And I can add a brief description about that later. Now that I have Mr. Hotler category, I can add a new course to that category. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to add a course that I teach called Imaging Technology. The short name I use for that class is Photo. And the course ID is 8514. Now I get an option to add a summary, and I'm gonna I could add that right off of my syllabus. In the course settings, I can set what type of course it is, and I'm gonna pick weekly format. And I have 36 weeks in my course, and the course starts on September 6th. Once I set that, I will have a section within my course for each week, and I can assign assignments to each one of those, due dates and build that right into my gradebook. Uh, I also have some other settings here for uploading items, gradebook items, activity reports, and enrollment. I can select when the course is available to students. I can set when it expires, can create groups, availability, set the language, and give role renaming. So when I click Save Changes, I can enter my course and see that I have all of my weeks set up and I'm ready to begin editing over here in the administration section. So I can click turn on editing uh, now I have the option of editing adding resources to each one of these weeks uh, and beginning the setup for my course for the entire year. And I think this is a great example of why Moodle is so powerful in the classroom because you can set up and prepare an entire year of courses in your class and students who are working ahead can keep working ahead and students who need more help uh, can stay with you on your course structure. So this is a great way of simulating an online course and allowing students to excel as they need. Thank you for tuning in this week to a three-part series on Moodle. I hope to see you next week when we get more in-depth on appearance editing and when we start to manage our user list.